Hey guys, Rusty here at Blue Robotics with a new product update. Today we've got a GoPro mount for the Blue ROV2, an electrical switch built into a cable penetrator form factor, and a slight revision to our dome end cap for the 4 inch watertight enclosure. The GoPro mount makes it easy to attach a GoPro or GoPro compatible camera to the front of the Blue ROV2. The mount attaches to the front of the battery enclosure, putting the camera right underneath the standard camera where it can share the same lighting. The mount is 3D printed out of black ABS plastic, and the files are available for free online if you have your own 3D printer. But we also have them for sale on our store for convenience. Next up, we've got a very cool new product that fits with our watertight enclosure line. This is an electrical switch that's built into the cable penetrator form factor. That means it's easy to install on any of our 2 inch, 3 inch, or 4 inch watertight enclosures and provide a switch to turn on or off your electronics. On the front here is a dial. You rotate it to the right to turn the switch on, to the left to turn it off. Uh, it has a standard penetrator shape and nut and o-ring on the back. At the back is a button that is the actual electrical switch that can handle up to 5 amps. Attached to that are two wires uh, with header pins attached for convenience. We've got a quick demo here of the switch for you. I've got this enclosure here set up with a uh, battery, lithium polymer battery, um, wired up to the switch inside, and then to two lumen lights paired together here. Now the switch on the back, I can rotate it and turn these guys on and turn them off just as easily. The switch is perfect for setting up simple setups like turning lights on or turning thrusters on um, or any other situation where you just want a simple on-off function. Last up, we just want to share a quick design update to the dome end cap for the 4 inch enclosure. If you remember, the dome end cap is comprised of an acrylic injection molded dome uh, with, in, with laser welded to an ABS flange. Uh, with this new design, we're injection molding that ABS flange instead of machining it, uh, giving a sleeker design and a higher purity ABS material to ensure a good quality weld between the dome and the flange. Uh, the dome is a drop-in replacement for the old version and it's available now. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.